Before I show you how you can make this turtle logo, I'd like you to do something. I want you to watch the video in the link above and see how we can make a huge difference to the state of our oceans. Currently our beaches and oceans are full of plastic rubbish. By donating whatever you can, you can help undo some of the damage that we've done to our planet. Visit teamseas.org and donate and put a smile on Egbert's face. So to get started, I'm just going to hide the page border. So I'm going to come up to Document Properties. I'm going to come down and I'm going to switch off the Show Page Border. We can get rid of that then. We'll open up our Fill and Stroke dialog box. And I'm going to drag in a guide from the left hand side. It's about midway. We can lock that in place so it doesn't move. In my snapping, I've got snapping to we've snapping to paths, snapping to cusp nodes, and snapping to rotational centers, and we need snapping at guides at the bottom. So we can switch this on and off as we need it. So I'm going to get started with my Bezier tool. I'm going to snap to the center, and what I'm going to do is click and hold down my mouse button. I'm going to hold control so I can pull the handle straight out horizontally. Then when we release, when I join these two halves of the shell together, so I'm going to construct those in two halves, then they should fit nicely. So I'm going to hold down control again when I click on here. So beyond that. So we click and hold, hold down control, and then I can drag out a horizontal handle and release. Kind of press enter. So that's half my shell. Not a very good half a shell at the moment, but we, we shall fix that. So we come up, get our nodes tool, and then we can just come in. I'm going to turn off snapping so it doesn't interfere with what we're doing. That looks a bit better. So I'm going to press Control D to duplicate the half. Let's get the selection tool. Click on it again. Undo because I moved it. Click on it again to get the rotational center. I'm going to snap that to the midpoint once I've switched snapping back on. There we go. And then we can flip horizontally to get the two halves. That looks fairly good. So I'm going to hold down shift, select the other half, and we'll go up to path and down to union. Union both together. Next thing I'm going to do is draw a head. So we go back to our Bezier tool. I'm going to draw one half of the head. So I'm going to hold, click and hold. I'm going to use control to drag out a horizontal handle. Then for the rest of it, I think I'll turn snapping off so we don't get any interference. Turn it back on so I can snap to the center. Press enter to finalize. We get the nodes tool. Do a bit of fine adjustment. I can turn snapping off again so it doesn't mess us about. Hold down control. Zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing. I think that looks fairly good. So I get my selection tool again. Click on our half, grab the rotational center, turn snapping back on, snap it to the center, press Ctrl D to duplicate it, flip it horizontally, hold down Shift, select the other half, and then we can union these two together. I'll drop it down below uh, the shell. So I think that looks fairly good. Next thing I want to do is draw one of the front flippers. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to select the Bezier tool again. I'm going to turn snapping off, drag out, so I get this nice curve. Like so. Doesn't look too clever at the moment, but we can adjust it again with our nodes tool. I think I'll add an extra node in, so I'll double click on the line. Give me a little bit more control. Drag over both of those, I think, so I want to move them both down a bit. Just going to drop that down below the shell, see what it looks like. Get my nodes tool again. Bit of a pain when you miss them, but still. I think that'll do me. So I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate. Click on it again to get the rotational center. We'll turn snapping back on. Drag that, snap it to the center line. 
then I'm going to come up and I'm going to flip it horizontally to make the other the other flipper and I'm going to drop that down below the shell next we want some flippers at the bottom so I'm going to grab my Bezier tool again and we go to adjustment mode with our nodes tool again so we can stop this looking oh that one's selected i'm going to turn it to a corner node so we can adjust each side individually actually i'm going to undo that ah snapping see what it looks like we drop it down, get the selection tool, drop it down below the shell so we can see if it looks okay. I need a bit of fine adjustment. I think I like it there. So I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'm going to turn snapping back on, grab the rotational center, snap it to the guide. Then we can flip horizontal. Uh, we can drop it down below the shell. All we need is our little tail. So if I zoom in, we're going to get the Bezier tool again. We snap down here. Then I'm going to hold down Control, drag out horizontal handle, and we can go up. Create our tail. Sorry, we can get our selection tool. We can press Control D to duplicate. We can. Click on it again to get a rotational center, snap it to the uh, guideline, and then we can flip it horizontally. Hold down shift, select both halves, we can go to path, union. Now all we need to do is drop that down, blow our shell, and we can zoom back out and see what it looks like. I'm quite happy that was a turtle. So what I want to do now is I want to uh, divide the shell into segments. So to create the center of our segmented shell i'm just going to grab the polygons tool i've got corner set to six so we can drag out a hexagon snap to the middle about so big i might want that slightly larger actually i'm going to turn snapping off i'm going to go to path object path my selection tool i'm going to hold down control and i'm just going to drag down to make it a little bit bigger then i'm just going to move it down so i'm going to hold on control down again and we can just move it down to where we want it in the shell. Think about there, looks good. So if we zoom in a bit, we're going to turn snapping back on. I want snapping to paths, snapping to custom nodes. And I'm going to come over, get the Bezier tool. I'm going to snap up here, click once, come down, snap to this one, click again, snap to this one. I want to come out, snap to the shell about there. And this one, there. One more down here. And I'm snapping to a center, so I'll turn centers off. Doesn't look straight to me. No, it's not. Right, undo that. Control Z. So I'm on intersections. Yeah, that's any better. That's better. Press enter there. Zoom out a bit. So I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to select. So I'm going to hold down shift. Select the second one. We're clicking on it again to get our rotational centers. We need to make sure rotational centers is selected over here. Then we should better snap our rotational center to the guide. We can then press Control D and flip it horizontally. So now we've got all these strokes, what I'm going to do is just go around and select them all. So I'm going to hold down Shift, select all these different paths. So we've got them all selected. I'm then going to go to change the size of them to start with. So we change it to 6. I'm going to go up to... Just make sure nothing's grouped and we go to path down to stroke to path 
and we should be able to go to path union so finally we've got this shell looking sweet so what I want to do is I'm going to make the shell slightly bigger I'm going to hold down shift and control and I'm just going to drag that out make it slightly bigger so if we reduce the opacity you can see the edge of it is just sitting on the edge of the shell now so I want to round the corners on the inside so if we select this I'm going to go to path path effects I'm going to add a path effect and we want corners wherever that is there we go so we've got our corners dialog box I'm going to get the nodes tool I want to select all these corner nodes so what I do is hold down shift and I'm just going to drag a box over all the corner nodes that I want to round off so I think we've got them all there so if we grab one of them now we should just better drag it in and round all the corners Now we can go to path, object to path, just to finalize it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I can see if everything's looking how it should. Might want to move the head up a touch and move the tail down a little bit. So I'm going to hold down control to constrain it to vertical movement. Let's get my selection tool. Click off of that. I'm going to click onto the tail and I'm going to hold down control. Just move it down a touch about there I'm going to hold down control again select the head hold down control and move that up to about there now I'm going to select all of these items and union them together so all of the, the green sections I'm going to press down shift go around select them all go up to path down to union we're going to hold down shift, select our shell outline, then we should better go up to path difference. Now we've got our completed logo design. I'm going to color it using a radial gradient. So if we select our turtle, I'm just going to come over, select radial gradient. We can come down, grab our gradients tool. The outside, I'm going to make fully opaque. Turn that down a bit, make it a bright green. The centre one we darken up, do a bit of a brown colour, I think. I want to add a few more stops, just so we've got, we're able to adjust our gradients. So for this stop, I want to make this one a yellowy colour. I'm then going to lighten that colour. So these stops I think we need to adjust a little bit to create a bit more graduation on these colours. And I'm also going to rotate our stops around. So bring that straight down. We can drag that out. I'm going to move it down slightly. So it's centered a little bit more on the shell. So about there. Oh, I think that'll do us. So we get our selection tool. We click off. We get rid of our unlock it. We get rid of our guide. And then we have our completed logo. I hope that's been helpful. And if you haven't done so already, get your wallet or purse out and make a donation. Thanks for watching.